What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, and in this video, we talk tie bars. Specifically, how to wear them, what to wear them with, and most importantly, my rules when it comes to rocking a tie bar. So it seems that we're seeing a bit of a renaissance these days when it comes to wearing tie bars, and they are not just worn with suits any longer, but more casual garments. And so I think that's a great thing for men's style. And I love how just this one little tiny accessory can add that nice finishing touch to any casual or smart casual look. And so let's jump right into this, how to rock a tie bar, what to wear it with, and my rules when it comes to wearing tie bars. Let's go. Let's start off with tie bar rule number one. If you are wearing a sweater or a waistcoat, for example, there's no need to have a tie bar. Since the purpose of the tie bar is to hold your tie in place, it just becomes redundant if you wear one with a waistcoat. For the look, we've got a brown suit with a check pattern paired with a thick woolen tie with a beautiful texture and pattern. I just love how the subtle blue lines of the suit pick up the navy from the tie in the pocket square. Second rule, let's talk tie bar placement. You're gonna count one, two, three, and fourth button. You're going to want it to land between the third and fourth button, probably closer up towards the third button. This is usually a good placement and you can really eyeball it to see what is good for you. This is typically the sweet spot, but if you're way too far up or way too far down, it's gonna look really awkward. For rule number three, please stay away from the diagonal tie bar. It's not a great look, but hey, rules are meant to be broken, so feel free to do you if that's your thing. So for the fourth rule, you want to ensure that the tie bar is clamped down securely onto the shirt placket, and that way you are not negating the function of the tie bar, which is to keep your tie held down and not blowing away in the wind. And if you're feeling it, I think a getup like this with a thick woolen tie is perfect for that statement piece of a tie bar that you may have. Don't be shy. For the fifth rule, take caution with the number of accessories that you're rocking. Something like this can work if the pieces aren't too loud. Remember that there's a power in modesty. For this second getup, we're going casual. Well, smart casual, with a tweed blazer, gingham check shirt, chambray necktie, and a cotton pocket square. And since it's a slim tie, it's perfect for a scaled down tie bar, in this case, a slim one inch clip. And you'll see that the colors of the two tie bars I've selected mesh well with and pick up the blue and maroon colors in the getup as a whole. See, not too shabby, right? Scale is important here, and it's always fun to play with colors. Okay, so rule number six. You never want for your tie bar to extend past the fabric of the tie. If it does, then it's too long, and you'll want a shorter tie bar. This example is barely passable. In fact, I wouldn't rock it like this at all. For rule number seven, and this is the final rule, just as you would wear a tie bar with suits and blazers, feel free to wear them with more casual jackets too, like this Harrington jacket paired with a gray knitted tie. So now let's just have some fun with our looks. Since we're working with more casual getups, it's time to pull out the fun tie bars, like this awesome gunmetal fleur de lis, for instance. Or this sweet arrow tie bar, one of my all time favorites. 
No matter what though, let's have fun with our style. Well, why not? Before we go, I've got one little tip. Go ahead and lift the tie fabric up a little bit and then slide the tie bar on. This is particularly handy with knit ties, giving it not only a cool, stylish look, but it also helps to prevent the tie from weighing you down. All right, thank you guys for watching as always, and I hope you guys learned something new about the tie bar and got some inspiration on how you can rock them in your outfits. And so, thanks as always for watching. I really appreciate the support. All the new subscribers, thank you for being here. Guys that have been here since the beginning, thank you guys so much for all the support. The likes, the comments down below really means a lot. And so I look forward to continuing on this journey and to put out the best content that I can. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below or you can shoot me an email. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos like this once a week on all things menswear, product, brand reviews, lookbooks. So let me know what you guys wanna see. But yeah, thank you as always for watching and that's all I got. Cheers to your style and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.